Hello. On November 6, 2012, a messenger angel of God brought on the following message to Benjamin Kusainson. Shalom. I greet you in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. My name is Sharon. I am a messenger angel, and I rejoice, Benjamin, to meet you again. You write, and I speak. You there, listen very carefully. Isaiah 66, verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire, and his chariots shall be like the whirlwind, to render his anger with fierceness, and his rebuke with flames of fire. This is also related to the U.S., Mexico, Spain, San Francisco, and Indonesia. This is very righteous for a Sodom and Noah's generation. Psalm 107, verse 25. For he commands and raises the stormy wind, which lifts up its waves. This event is not far away. Benjamin, one uses a virtual program and tries to project an image, which is lifelike and speaks to man. The technological fallen angels go far beyond knowledge. They also use a program with which they can mimic voices and broadcast without and with projection images. They want to set people against each other. Some thought that their partner had hurt them and had a fight, but the truth was that a projected image was being broadcasted, and sometimes they heard the voice of their partner say something which didn't come from the partner, and they became mad at each other. Satan goes very far and hates marriage, and especially the Christian. Therefore, there is much Christian persecution in among others. Indonesia, Iran, Korea, China, and Pakistan. I point you out on and again. Six satellites the fallen angels are using to be able to broadcast invisible frequency waves and projection images. Humanity will be taken over and there will be riots and hatred. Even David Wilkerson has once warned New York City and what is to come. Benjamin, I reveal you more. The water and food will become priceless. They are going to behave in accordance of where their heart is full of. They slaughter each other to eat each other's flesh. This shall happen, I tell you. The ground will burn under your feet, and many will perish by an extreme solar heat. Also, the ground will tear, and stars will waver and fall down. The moon will be blood red and frightening to see. Did you not love Halloween? Also, they looked for the idol. Know ye not that also the mitre and the staff are originated from the evil? Remember the bogeyman? You there. You're looking for the things of darkness, but of Yeshua HaMashiach. There, you want to know nothing of. Why not? Because your mind has been taken over. If you have problems, or you've lost everything, only then Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, may fix everything for you for a moment. And afterwards, you continue to sin again, and go walking your worldly dark path again. Every country with idols the Lord will not bless, yes, even your church. It is better that you repent now and listen to the Almighty God of Isaac, Jacob, and Abraham. If not, and stock up on a food supply that cannot spoil for about 40 days and other items. The world will peer with the madness. The fallen angels and the demons will make themselves visible because this is what they have achieved. If you have truly accepted Yeshua HaMashiach 
and you have a relationship with Yeshua Jesus, then you have nothing, really nothing, to fear. Cover yourself every day, what I also told you earlier, under his precious blood. The volcanoes will make themselves heard. He who does not want to hear will be lost. Also, Yeshua HaMashiach, into your heart, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Allow Yeshua, Yeshua HaMashiach, into your heart, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Be fervent in spirit and not lukewarm. Put on God's armor and trust Yeshua, Jesus. Get ready for departure. Then you miss what soon comes into the world now. Yet you will see something of it. Jesus is coming very soon. I'm going now. Kuraka, Yeshu, Shalom.